good evening Friday as well as usual but I'm not as usual <laughs> I didn't slept three nights so I'm really yucky okay and but I wanted to be fair with you I promise to always to be Fridays so Saturday morning I can make post a video and you can if you would like to participate in half an hour reading from Janet and Tom Burks, thank you, Janet and Tom. All the best to you because I know your health is not that good, especially Janet was telling me that she doesn't want to take dialysis because she doesn't want to, she feels it's too much for her to deal with them and I'm sorry, but all the best, Janet. Maybe you will find some cure. So please, if you would like to participate, if you would like to participate in half an hour reading with me, donated by Janet and Tom, please write your comments under this video on Monday when I will have live stream with Cheryl. If I survive because I'm sick from that cold weather, and no wind, no door at the store was horrific night. Then I will do video with Cheryl and I we will find out who is the lucky person. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank you for your kind words and support. So many nice comments. So hopefully tomorrow I will have a lot of comments as well so I can choose someone. I have only a few questions. I'm not very good today. So, 24, Serafina. When Trump became president, will the American dollar remain strong? Or do you see it dropping? At the beginning, it will still be strong. But as time will go, by, I don't know why I saw a soldier. It might be that there might be some involvement in, in some war, and that will, usually wars are good for, for, the, uh, for the economy, but I, that might be going a little bit different and it will lose the value. So I will pull three cards as usual to know if I'm correct. Yeah, at the beginning it will be the very motherly pampered and some legal problems will cause maybe the tariffs. And yes, it will go away. Some money will be losing the owners. Yeah, I'm sorry. But half of the country, more than half was voting apparently for him. And there is no proof that it was indifferent. And we can't prove it anything just by our intuition. Cheryl asked the question. Thank you, Cheryl, and thank you for your wonderful friendship and your help. <laughs> I don't know how I will survive this without your support. Today she was with me at the store. And it's so much that this girl is helping me she is working on the computer to figure out some stuff and uh, thank you trump uh, cheryl is saying trump signed the law to require presidential ethics pledge now he is accepting accepting exempting himself from it. Will this stop him from taking the office on time? And I see him being feel, feeling sick. So yeah, we are usually when we are sick, we are laying in the bed and I see him laying in the bed. So it's like postponing, postponing. And then some young lady, maybe Pam Bundy, but some some young woman will convince him to do it. So that was my feeling from the vision. 
um, because I saw him in a bed and then young woman talking to him. Yeah, he will have to do the job. That young woman will be, and they will be a partners. So maybe Ivanka, maybe Melania, but the, I saw a blonde. So I don't think it's Melania. And Melania will be happy if he wouldn't be running for presidency. I don't know if she will be happy. That way she has more time off from him. And that's a blessing sometimes <laughs> to have the time for herself. And now that Don Don has a girlfriend, Melon, uh, so with, he is so focused on that perfect match for himself. So Melania is sitting and just watching him dancing to the song YMCA with, but that's how it is. Will Don DOJ, because that's what Don Don wants her to be, Will Don DOJ Pam Bundy be absolutely obedient to Trump's orders? Or will she eventually put some boundaries? Her name is Bundy, boundaries. And I... First I saw her with blinds on her eyes. Symbol of justice. Justice is blind. But I think she will be blind for, for some times. And she will be sleeping on the job with the blindness. So, you know, there are some people are putting this on the face so they can sleep better. And she will be sleeping on the job. And But eventually she will be sleeping too much on the job. He will, and Don Don will be upset with her. So he will be asking her to quit. And she will be telling her that quit because you are unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. And she would uh, try not to listen to him. Eventually she will give up. And he will be... No, I didn't see him. I saw him crazy. So I think she will be driving him crazy that she doesn't want to quit. I didn't see him firing her. But then it's hard to see someone being fired. But he will be crazy. Angry, argumentative. So she will be sitting on the throne like a guy. She would like to be a good leader, but eventually she will be worried about being depressed. So maybe that will be the, the reason that she will give up the depression. Because I saw him holding her hand, like, and she is like that. So a little bit on the flappy side, like I'm today. And some, uh, I was doing private reading and one lady said, how can you joke when you are under so much stress? And actually, that's my problem. Once I was in a motorbike accident, first I was in a car accident in Poland and I was laughing after the accident. The guy nearly killed me. Good that my boyfriend that time stopped him and he said, if you want to deal deal with me, not with her. It was not her fault that you make an accident. And that she's laughing. But I act stupidly, I know. And the second time I had a motorbike accident, I, I was driving by the college for former students. Well, I was going to the public college, the city college. This one was private college, and I knew that most of the stu students are from Europe and other countries where it's the opposite direction than in England. So I was always prepared that someone might jump under my wheels on a motorbike or on the, in the car. And that day, yes, I'm driving, and the young girl is on her mo bicycle and driving straight at me. And I went into a panic, so I fell down, and 
nothing happened. She was not hurt. My bike was hurt, but and I was a little bit in the with the bruises. But I started laughing. I saw my. Well, I was. I had the shoes on the platform. Uh, cork platform, yellow shoes. And that was hippie time. And I, one of my shoes was in the middle of the street. And I, my bike was <laughs> laying. My, the mirror was broken. And I'm laughing. Everyone ran to that girl who was screaming like how and nothing happened to her. And then two guys came in, two young men came in and they introduced themselves to me and I'm laughing like crazy person. And one of them said, I'm a I'm student of medicine from Switzerland. Do you know that you are under shock? <laughs> I said, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Look, I'm fine. He said, can you stop laughing? And then I thought, ooh, that's much harder than I thought that I can stop laughing. And I, then I discovered that I must be looking stupid. And he said, I would like you to sit, come to my car. I will put your motorbike, it wasn't big, on the back of my car. And we will drive you. Tell us where to drive you. And he was looking very honest, and the other guy too. They drove me home. I stopped laughing eventually. And they told me, you didn't know that you have that kind of reaction from situation like that. I said, no. So some of us are acting differently, which is safe, safe here sometimes. Once a guy started opening a zipper in front of me at the store, and I told him, I started laughing, and he said, oh, this is so funny. I said, nothing is funny. I just, and I knew that time, subconsciously, I knew that it's my shock. And I told him, oh, you are in front of the camera. <laughs> he went off like crazy, <laughs> so fast. And, but my laugh saved my life that time. But not always it's a good thing to, to deal with. It's helping me. That's self-protection. And maybe one of you have the same way of reacting to, to stress, which is not bad, because we have to react some way. Okay. Will he be successful with his tariffs? And... Most people will be upset. Some ladies will be crying because everything will be more expensive. And eventually he will put his tariffs into the graveyard. So I think that's what I saw him digging a hole and he would dig the hole for himself probably as well. But I think that will be the graveyard for the tariffs. He wouldn't be able to promote them to the ang angry country. This, some secrets will come out the secure, the, about the money. And people will think the grass is greener somewhere else. So maybe they will send him somewhere else. To, to go or some people will start thinking about someone else to be the next president. Will Trump replace Judge Clarence Thomas with new loyalist? I think he will be. And first he will have to brag Clarence Thomas with money. So, because he would, he would say, no, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving, I'm fine. And nothing can be done. If he would say that he wants to stay, that might upset only <laughs> him, and he might be against Don Don, but I think he will replace him with someone like Kavanaugh. Some woman, I saw a womanizer, a guy with two ladies enjoying the party, so I think that will be someone not different than Kavanaugh. 
they have to have something on them when they are electing them. Yeah, he will be uh, the new leader. They are good friends. Oh, he has good friends already in the high places. Oh, wow, why is a woman? Would that be a lady? Lady woman, I said no. But the love, or maybe there will be some about his love life coming as a, you know, but didn't stop Clarence, didn't stop Kavanaugh. I think that will be someone from that category. Okay, it will be shorter because, forgive me, <laughs> I'm not very strong today. Please pray for Brooke's mom and for Janet and Tom. Prayers for people affected by bad weather and hard condition on airport who are coming back from Thanksgiving. Anyone who is sick, who is under the weather, who is scared, like most of you, about the Don Don and Melon <laughs> Payer running the country. Don't worry. I'm praying for you. I, you will be fine. You have to just one step on a time and go forward. We will all survive. Uh, well, we are in Canada, but it will affect us. Believe me, it will have an extreme effect on us. Trudeau is already going to kiss the ring of Don Don. So it is something that it will be... Hands will wash the hands or scratch my back, I will scratch yours. Nothing we can do. We can only pray and be reunited with each other and be healthy, be happy, be strong, be independent. And it's only temporary. Nothing lasts forever. Something good is coming from every bad situation. So we have to be positive, okay? The emotions are <laughs> horrific, I know. I'm going through the same thing, but I'm surviving. You have to survive too. And that the weather wouldn't be that bad for anyone, okay? Take care of each other, give them love, give them support, and teach each other how to be strong. Bye-bye.